Fortnite Season 4 Chapter 3 has countless Easter eggs I guarantee you haven't seen, including hints of upcoming features, secret unlocks, storyline secrets, and much more. So stick to the end because it's going to get crazier and crazier as we go through these. I'm still gifting the Season 4 Battle Pass to 5 subscribers every single day who drop a like, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with their epic ID. So thank you guys who support me, and special shout out to the people taking two seconds to put code doom in the fortnite item shop when you log on it helps make these videos possible so starting off with easter egg number one it is possible that this whole chrome themed season was inspired by an episode of spongebob what's going on here why is everything chrome everything is chrome in the future <laughs> oh my impossible He's lying! Future. And this is especially funny because for number two, people are speculating that Reality 659, which Paradigm leads to in the end of the trailer, is a futuristic reality that has advanced technology since it is referenced in the Zero War comics and it's the reason she is the only one capable of piloting the mecha team leader. This idea of Chrome being the future is also interesting because the Herald can be seen looking at the future in her crystal orb because if we look at it closely we see those chrome hexagon structures near the reality tree which are not there currently leakers have also found that this image in the crystal ball will be changing throughout the season so we'll be getting hints as to what will come and speaking of the chrome hexagons the herald is using hexagons for a special reason to build her entire area and that is because a hexagon is actually a 2d representation of a cube. If you connect the lines from the corners to the center, you'll see it forms a drawing of a 3D cube. So this is one reason of many that people are speculating she is actually the messenger for the cube queen from the last reality. The fact that she's using hexagons is also interesting because if you guys didn't know, in real life, the top of the planet Saturn has a perfect hexagon on it. And believe it or not, if we go to the new blimp that's at Rave Cave, you guys will see Saturn Saturn is actually spray painted on the blimp. And not only that, there's also a message that says that let's go and it's pointing to a character that looks like a skull with the hood on it, which looks very similar to the blacklight skin. And if you look at his description, he's part of the final reckoning set. And this is interesting because the chaos agent is also a part of that set. And this seems even more important because all of these skins were released in chapter two, season one after the black black hole event. So it seems like the Peace Syndicate could be connected to the Last Reality faction in some way. Next up for number six, the theme of Chrome could also be an Easter egg for the Matrix, which Donald Mustard actually starred in recently, because Neo is engulfed in Chrome just like the scientist was in the trailer. And in the Matrix movie, it represents Neo being brought into actual reality instead of the simulation he was trapped in. So basically the scientist and the origin were probably taken from the island to a different reality that the herald came from and if we take a look at the brand new bite skin from the battle pass it says he is part of the into nothing set which will be relevant later but it also says few survive the journey into darkness which implies that the chrome and the darkness is somehow connected and well if you guys didn't know the cube queen uses the power of the darkness for her cubes and that's basically like what the purple cubes are another cool little easter egg in the battle pass is that the paradigm armor set is actually unlocked on the seventh page of the battle pass so epic is really paying attention to the details here and this battle pass is special because this is the first time we've had more female skins than male skins in fortnite battle pass history the closest to this previously was chapter one season six if you were wondering and with the chrome taking over this season you guys are probably wondering how does midas's gold touch actually stack up against
against the Chrome. And it turns out that Midas's Gold Touch is not strong enough to overtake the Chrome to Gold. Also, it seems that the Chaos Agent's head alone is immune from the Chrome Takeover too, so that's pretty interesting. And well, I had to see what the Silver Surfer would turn into after being taken over by the Chrome, but it seems like he just turns bronze. And the Chrome seems to be affecting all types of cosmetics because the Bat Contrail is now completely Chrome, even when you just jump into a match. And for some reason, the Chrome seems to have just disabled the Pixel Pilot Glider's pixel effect it had on it, which seems pretty random. And for number 12, if you guys take a closer look at this part of the trailer, you'll notice these three tanks that seem to be preserving different things. The first one looks like a baby Peely, or maybe it's just a regular banana. But then next we see some type of person, which looks very similar to the pod that Luke Skywalker was in in the Star Wars movies, which is pretty interesting because we know his lightsaber is still in the game, but he never made an appearance last season for some reason. And then finally in the third little pod, we actually have a llama. So yeah, I don't know what the seven was doing with these things. And now guys, if you take a look at the loading screen for the new Battle Pass skin, Grizz, you will see that he was made from the same slurp as the slurp Legends pack. And well, since we know that the Chaos Agent was building a slurp army and he was even seen making the slurp Legends pack, I think there's a good possibility that this little bear that's manning the slurp skin is working for Chaos Agent. And I think we all know by now that Chaos Agent works for Midas, so I don't think it's a stretch that Midas could be returning very soon. And well, if you were wondering how landing a headshot works with this skin, it turns out that headshotting the little bear inside does not count. But another little obscure Easter egg is that they have actually changed the design of the crash pad to show like the No Sweat Summer logo. So I assume these will come to Battle Royale very soon. And probably my favorite little change of the season is the fact that NPCs can now revive you. However, it does not work in solos. And honestly, I would like to see that happen. And if you guys were wondering how Meow Skulls is related to Meow Souls, it turns out all we have to do is go up to the Meow Souls NPC and we see that she is actually Meow Souls' sister. And there's actually another family relation in the game that you probably don't know about because they just changed the wildcard skin very subtly. But believe it or not, wildcard actually received a ring in this last update on his skin. So it appears he has married the crew pack skin at Loveless, which is kind of an ironic name now that I think about it. But moving on, if you guys bought any of the tie-dye skins, you guys should use them again because they've actually added a ton of new customizable options for them. So remember to check those out. And Epic really cares about the details because with the new Arachrobatics emote, it turns out that when Gwen Stacy uses the emote, she actually has her own sort of custom animation where it's more in a comic book style. So that's really cool. And another crazy detail is with the laser focused emo because any skin that has a tail gets its own sort of custom animation too because the tail will actually stick up to emphasize that they are indeed focused and well it seems the only animals in the game that aren't getting love at this point are the llamas because I'm sure you guys know by now that you can pet the animals in the game but not the llamas and you can't ride the llamas yet either so epic definitely needs to make that happen however you can turn the llamas into chrome but you probably won't want to do that because then they'll just be able to run through walls and get away a lot easier. However, Epic did reduce the amount of health on the llamas, so they are a little bit easier to take out now. And if you guys didn't know, chroming yourself and going through walls is actually super effective. So definitely take advantage of that in game. And it's super easy to get chrome splashes to make that happen because you just have to shoot an SMG or an AR or something at a chrome tree and you will get a ton of them. The chrome splashes are great for healing cards as well because it will fix the broken tires and then also when the cars get shot they will start to heal on their own so that's pretty overpowered plus you can use the chrome splashes to throw at chest to automatically get a chrome chest and now guys one of the most exciting fortnite easter eggs was revealed by hype x and he says that fortnite is working on rideable flying animals he says you will be able to boost and idle and it's most likely what that saddle grappler looking item is for. So if you guys didn't know, there was an item called the Saddler that was leaked the last season, and then we thought we saw it in the season three trailer where someone was like hitching to a boat, but apparently it'll be usable for rideable animals as well. And well, Tabor Hill actually replied to the suite of Hypex with the gift of a dragon. And if you guys didn't know, Tabor Hill always gets early leaks about Fortnite way before anyone else. He clearly
clearly know someone that works there who was able to give them this info so reliably. And with how hard Game of Thrones has been advertising their new show, I have no doubt that they would want some sort of huge collab in Fortnite. And I actually had so many more Easter eggs to mention, but this video would literally be like 30 minutes long. So I'm going to make a second video with more Easter eggs. So if that's up already, it'll be on the end screen right now. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.